Hi, this is Brian Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about PuTTY and Pageant and setting up SSH keys in order to log in to a Unix or Linux server without having to type in your password um, every time you log in. And this is very easy to set up. Um, first thing you want to do, go to the PuTTY download page. Go ahead and download the installer for PuTTY. This will include all the PuTTY utilities. We're going to need um, several of these, so you want to make sure you get the installer that contains everything we need right here. Go ahead and install that. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and run PuTTY Gen. Okay, The PuTTY key generator is going to generate your SSH key pair. An SSH key pair is composed of a private key and a public key. The private key is what you uh, want to keep um, to yourself. You want to keep it very secure and you don't ever copy the private key out to uh, other servers. It just stays right here on your uh, Windows desktop and you want to, like I said, you want to keep control of it and not uh, share it. If someone else gets control of your private key file, they could potentially impersonate you and log into a server as you. We'll talk about a way to mitigate that in a minute with a passphrase, but, but in general you want to keep your private key file to yourself and keep it secure. Now your public key, on the other hand, that's what you're going to copy out to every server that you want to be able to log into using the key. So, we'll go ahead and click, uh, well you can you can change options if you want down here. Um, we're going to stick with the defaults, which will be an RSA key with 2048 bits. We'll click generate, and it's going to ask us to move the mouse around randomly. This will help generate some random numbers to create our key. Alright, what we want to do here is set a key passphrase. What that is going to do um, is encrypt our private key file. Now this is optional, it'll let you not set this, but you really, really want to. Um, the reason why is, if someone is able to, you know, somehow copy off your private key file, and you don't have a passphrase on it, they could log into the server as you, using the private key file. On the other hand, if you set a passphrase on here, it encrypts the private key file, and if someone were to steal your private key file, they would need the file, and the passphrase to decrypt it. So you really want to put a passphrase on here. So go ahead and type that in, confirm it, click save private key. Okay, I'm putting mine under C keys, give it a name, call mine my, my private key, click save. If you want, you can also save the public key. It's not really necessary though, because what we can do is just go up here, click this, Make sure you've highlighted every little bit of this. You've got to have every line. Right click, say copy. All right, so just to summarize, we've created a private key file with a passphrase. We've saved the private key, and we took the public key up here, copied it into our clipboard. All right, we're done with the uh, PuTTY key gen. All right, let's go ahead and start up PuTTY. We're going to log into one of the servers we want to set up the key on. Log in, I gotta use my passphrase because we don't quite have the key set up yet. I'm gonna create a .ssh directory within my home directory. I'm gonna change permission on it to 700. Oh, whoops. Gotta spell that right. .ssh. Alright, I'm gonna cd into .ssh. I'm gonna create an authorized underscore keys file. It has to be named this. I'm gonna paste in that key. I'm gonna save it. I'm going to change this to 600. Oh, whoops, sorry. I, chmod 6. And I'm going to call it author, change it authorized keys. All right. All right. Just to summarize. So what I've done here in my home directory, I've created a .ssh directory and a .ssh uh, uh, and an authorized key file within that directory. So I have a .ssh directory, 700 permissions authorized key file within that directory 600 permissions okay and what I would want to do is on every server I want to use this key on I'd go through and do this so if there was 10 or 20 servers I had that I wanted to use this key on I'd go through each server create the .ssh directory create authorized keys paste in the key set the permissions on, on every server alright that's done so to show the keys working, what we're going to do is we're going to go under SSH here, hit the plus, go to auth, um, right here for private key, we'll click browse, 
point it to the private key that we created. Okay. I'm going to log in to my server, type my user ID. All right. You can see it's not asking me for my server password. Now it's asking me for my passphrase for my private key file. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. All right. I'm logged in now. Now, you might be asking, well, what's the benefit here? Instead of having to type a password, now you have to type a passphrase. You know, what's the real benefit here? And that's a very valid question. And the solution to that is it's called a SSH agent. And Putty has one. It's called Pageant. And what the SSH agent does for you is when you boot up your computer, you can set it up. So one time when you boot up, it asks you for your passphrase. You type it in, and then it loads your private key file into memory. And anytime you use it from there on out until you shut down your computer, it will automatically log you in without typing in your passphrase again. So again, basically every time you boot up, you type it in once and you're good to go until you shut down your computer the next time if you use a, a, an agent like Pageant. And Pageant is very, very easy to set up. What we're going to do is we're going to go to All Programs, Find Startup, right click, Explore, right click, New, Shortcut, Browse, Computer, C, Program Files, Putty, Pageant. All right, so you can see that's under C, Program Files, x86, Putty, Pageant. I got that in there. Then we're going to uh, put a space, and then we're going to type in the path to our private key file that we saved on here. All right, so we got the path to Pageant and the path to our private key file. Click Next, click Finish. All right. And since we created this shortcut within the startup folder, every time I log in, it's going to run this. And when, when it runs, all it's going to do is, oh, I must have uh, typed something wrong in there. Let me go back to properties. Oh, yeah, I put in a S right there. Let me just fix that. All right. So every time I log in and it runs this, all it's going to do is prompt me for my passphrase. Okay. So I'll type in my passphrase. Okay, and what, what you'll notice is down here in your system tray, you got this little computer with a hat. That's the pageant agent. It's running now. If I were to right click on it and click view keys, you could see it successfully loaded my key in. All right, so now that we have pageant running and we have it set up to run every time I log in, let's, let's uh, use putty here and make sure it works. So under SSH, under auth, you'll just want to make sure this attempt authentication using pageant is checked. By default, that normally is checked, but you'll just want to double check that it is. All right. So we're going to log into uh, our server again here. I'll type my user ID, and you can see it never prompted me for a password or a passphrase for the key. And you can see it says authenticating with public key from agent. That is the pageant agent here. All right, and we can take this one step further. We can go down here to data and we can set the auto login username to whatever your user ID is. Okay. I'm going to save that as a default setting. Oops. Type in my server name. And you can see it never prompted me for my username or passphrase now. It auto logged me in using that uh, username I had set in Putty. So very, very useful. So basically, I can log in without typing in username or password. Another cool thing about this, using Pageant like this, is Putty also includes a PSCP and PSFTP um, command line utilities to copy files to servers. And those utilities will also automatically use Pageant. So I could go ahead and copy a file to, to a server using my uh, key file and it would using Pageant and it would never prompt me for a uh, password or passphrase. So as you can see, setting this up is very easy. The things you want to keep in mind is make sure you set a strong passphrase on your private key file and then go ahead and use pageant so you don't have to type it in more than once every time you boot up your computer. So very useful, very easy to do. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Thanks.